Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're watching Green Wave TV Alternative Media Television. I want to put the Sandy Hook massacre into perspective here because what is should be becoming more clear to the American public and the American people has especially been clear to me for some time now is that President Barack Obama is baiting a violent civil war here in the United States. That's a key word there. He is baiting a civil war. Now let's dig into this a little bit deeper. What is the reason for the destabilization of the Middle East. A lot of people think it's oil, and they're right to say that, at least at face value. It's about oil. But what it's really about is debt. It's about consolidating and refinancing massive, a massive amount of debt. Uh, this is what's happening in Europe. This is what's happening with Greece, Spain, Italy, Ireland. Okay, this is what we see Angela Merkel trying to uh, orchestrate overseas with a further integration of the Eurozone. Same thing happening here in the United States. The only difference being we've been printing at the printing presses and monetizing our debt here in the States so that President Barack Obama and the global oligarchs can buy themselves more time before refinancing that debt. Now, how do how does the power structure refinance debt? Well, this is really simple, really. They refinance debt through war. Now, if we go back through history, and if you've studied this kind of thing, you, you're a historian, uh, maybe you're a teacher, or maybe you're just somebody interested in this type of thing, every war, virtually almost every war throughout history, all the world wars, uh, Vietnam, the Korean War, is all about debt. It's all about refinancing and consolidating and get, getting rid of debt. This is exactly what's happening on the world stage today. So just like President Barack Obama, is intentionally on behalf of the global power structure destabilizing the Middle East for this very reason, which is why we have a target on Iran, which is why President Barack Obama toppled Libya and has been running guns into Syria to also assassinate Bashar al-Assad so that we can move into Iran. It's the same reason the President has been arming al-Qaeda. Uh, now, it's no coincidence that the recent tragic shooting at Sandy Hook uh, Adam Lanza's father, Peter Lanza, was a high-powered GE executive set to testify on the London Interbank Offered Rate Scandal, LIBOR. In fact, I'm all too familiar with this because I was working on Wall Street during 2008 during the financial collapse, so I saw this at first hand. This is the largest financial cover-up in American history. In my opinion, it is also not a coincidence that James Holmes, and I'll put the links in the description box below so you can verify this for yourself, James Holmes' father, the Aurora Colorado MK Ultra CIA PSYOP killer, his dad, also a very high-powered executive with FICO, the credit score rating company, was also set to testify. Now, it's not a coincidence that these two fathers were both set to testify and now aren't testifying on the largest financial cover-up in American history. Again, follow the money, America. Follow the paper trail. It's all about the money. It's all about the debt. It's the reason we're being being driven to war. But also, I want you to understand that our president and the power structure that is pushing their agenda and using Obama as the messenger for this are also orchestrating and intentionally destabilizing the United States here at home. And that is why we've seen intense divisiveness among the American people. This has been intentional. Civil war is exactly what President Barack Obama wants. It's exactly why the Second Amendment is under attack. It's exactly why they've orchestrated these series of murderous attacks on American civilians. Now, a lot of people find that shocking. They find it shocking when I say things like that President Barack Obama, on behalf of his handlers, would murder innocent children. Now, do I personally have evidence that President Barack Obama Obama murdered these children at Sandy Hook? No, of course not. I don't. But I do have evidence of him murdering other children. Click the link in the description box below. You can read up on it. President Barack Obama, if you remember not too long ago, congratulated himself on the brutal assassination of United States citizen. Never got a trial. Was never uh, acquitted or proven guilty. Uh, by a jury of his peers, Anwar Awlaki, not only did President Barack Obama murder him without a trial, but he also murdered his teenage son. Now remember, this was a big congratulatory event. President Barack Obama came on camera. I have the video in the description box. You can watch it. He openly and congratulated himself on the murder of a child, of just a boy. 
And it's interesting how here in America, American lives are valued more than Middle Eastern lives. If your skin isn't white like mine and it's a little tan overseas, if you're being killed and murdered by the regime here in America, by President Barack Obama, that's okay in the opinion of a lot of American people. And so what sounds crazy at face value isn't crazy. It isn't crazy at all. It's just the truth. But I want you to understand and I want to drive home the point that the destabilization here in the United States, on our soil, in our towns, in our cities, uh, at our municipalities is a very intentional act and we need to tread water carefully and it's exactly why they are attacking the Second Amendment to get rid of guns, to seed fear in the minds of the American people. I'm reading reports today where Americans are actually giving up their guns in droves, a lot of Americans are, are giving their guns to the government. They're trying to get guns out of the hands of the American people so that they can fully destabilize and fully take over America. They can fully hijack the United States. This has been the plan all along. And of course, the fact that we're going to war, they want to make sure that guns come out of the hands of the American public and that survivalists, that preppers, uh, people that believe that we're living through an economic collapse like myself, which is just the honest truth. Uh, we have a sovereign default here in the United States, $16 trillion and growing. Uh, this will not end well. This will end in a collapse. I believe we are already in one. They're demonizing these types of people to put it in the in America's minds that if you're a gun owner, that you're if you're actually a member of the NRA, you are the enemy. You are the homegrown terrorist now. If you question authority, if you question the totalitarian governance of the Obama regime, you are a terrorist, according to the federal government. Think about that for a minute. Doesn't sound right, does it? In fact, a lot of us really need to refresh ourselves on the Constitution itself, need to ref refresh ourselves specifically on the Second Amendment. The United States government will not and should not ever infringe on our right to bear arms and our right to own weapons. And it starts with the taking away of, say, weapons of war, AK-47, semi-automatic and automatic weapons, and then they gradually progress as they institute the UN United Nations Disarmament Treaty, which has been in the works for several years now. I've reported on it extensively. Please check our video archives. Then they work into regular handguns and regular type of weapons where they've completely, in effect, destabilized any type of resistance, any type of American patriotism, and that is when the full tyranny takes place. That is when, if we're on a warning scale uh, between 0 and 10, we move from a 9 to an, a full-blown 10 or an 11. And the government, at that point, can fully uh, guide the American people or push the American people or really manipulate the American people any way they so desire. This is about war. And it's important that we have a much larger perspective that this is all connected. Sandy Hook, connected. The Aurora shootings, connected. Connected. Jared Loeffner, connected. James Holmes's father, Adam Lanza's father, FICO, GE, uh, LIBOR, the London Interbank Offered Rate. All of this is connected. It isn't a coincidence. It isn't a coincidence that Hillary Clinton has a fake concussion suddenly and won't be testifying on Benghazi Gate. It is so obvious. It is amazing that more people don't actually see what is happening. And it's funny, I'll get emails uh, from people occasionally will say, you know, Chris, you're crazy. Well, you know, that just gives me assurance that we're actually having a pretty good impact in getting the truth out there because it's shocking people to the core. Again, it's not easy to believe that the federal government and people like President Obama on behalf of his handlers are willing to kill American citizens. We know they're willing to kill citizens abroad. Why wouldn't they kill their own people? You know, a growing minority here in America, and there's a lot of evidence to back this up, believe that it was the federal government uh, whether or not this had Zionist influence or not was orchestrated and had orchestrated September 11th and the murder of thousands of innocent Americans. There's more evidence growing on a daily basis to prove that assumption. Whether or not you believe that or not, it's up for you to dig into the facts. But this should be shocking. You should be shocked. But the cold hard reality is whether or not you believe the quote unquote conspiracy theories or not, what is clear and what is fact is that Obama wants your guns. They want your guns. Mayor Bloomberg wants your guns. The NRA had to shut down its social media websites, Twitter and Facebook, because of the outrage and the outpouring of support for socialist Obama's socialist agenda to ban guns that they can't even operate their website at the moment. 
They want your guns. That is a fact. It is a fact that the Second Amendment is under attack. It is a fact that the U.S. Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and the Bill of Rights is under attack. You cannot debate that. That is not my opinion. That is just the truth. Please, please get this video out to as many people as you can. Get the truth out to the American public and to the people of the world so that they can be better informed of this tyranny, of exactly what's happening, and then they can participate, hopefully, in an adequate resistance to this. Please get this message out to as many people as possible. I'm Christopher Green. You've been watching Green Wave TV, alternative media television, and I just delivered the Daily Wave. Hard hitting and in your face.